Important video alert. Yes, this is actually an important video. Um, you see, wow, look, the iMac is on. You see, the reason I have this computer on my table is because I actually do use it. <laughs> um, oh, this is an important video, and it's going to be short and sweet, right? Yeah, I'm never short and sweet. Uh, it will be short and sweet. Um, because everybody keeps giving uh, new photographers misleading information online, on YouTube really specifically, but online also, including some of the top YouTube photography channels by subscriber count. Um, let's correct a misnomer here, okay? Um, and who do you think knows more about lenses? The guy that uh, says that uh, he only got into photography uh, in 1998 or the person that was uh, getting out of photography school uh, 10 years prior to that and fixing lenses? Uh, many, many years prior to that. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's point out a fact that everybody keeps spreading here, and nobody seems to understand this. And so, you, you ever heard of the old thing that, like, if you say something a certain way, but you say it silly, then you're, you're more likely to remember it? It's like you could say, um, I don't know. You, uh, you don't do something because, uh, you know, it's just like a chocolate drops falling in your, you know, it's something silly, but it's important, but you remember it because it has something silly attached to it. So let's, uh, let's have a saying here, and we're going to repeat it three times, and that way you'll never forget it. Okay, you'll never forget it, and it's the important thing to know because everybody keeps comparing full frame lenses to uh, DX lenses and whether you have an issue of sticking a full frame lens on a crop sensor body or uh, and this stuff is rampant everywhere. Or they say um, the top YouTube photography channel on YouTube keeps saying uh, absolute nonsense that uh, you know full frame lenses on DX cameras aren't as sharp which is total and absolute nonsense twaddle let's repeat this phrase three times and then that way you'll never forget it okay every lens on earth craps out the same light let's say it poops out the same light let's start again every lens on earth poops out the same light regardless of what is underneath it Okay, let's say that two more times so we never forget it. Every lens on Earth poops out the same light. You see, that would be the, the fanny of the lens, the rear element. Every lens on Earth poops out the same light without any regard for what is underneath it. We only have to say it one more time. Every lens on Earth poops out the same light regardless of what is underneath it. Did I make that abundantly clear? Every lens ever made for any camera, full frame DX, film camera, digital camera, future camera, you know, well actually a future camera could actually in, uh, have uh, magnetoconstrictors for the light and uh, go off of uh, the Faraday effect, but that's, that does not exist yet, okay? So <laughs> we can't talk about the future. Everything now and prior to now, yeah. Do you, do you understand what that means? Remember, a crop is only a crop, and only a crop, and ever a crop. A lens does not change its luminal intensity. Regardless, a lens doesn't go, Oh my God, there's a smaller sensor underneath me. I'm going to change something. It doesn't change its depth of field either. Now, if you're going to change to make the image look the same, that does change things. So we're talking about your feet are, 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 are nailed to the floor, and the camera and the tripod are nailed to the floor and you have the same lens and you stick it on a full frame camera and you have the exact same lens and you stick it on a crop sensor camera nothing has changed on depth of field we're not talking about changing positions you know that's, that's something else okay your feet are nailed to the floor so is the tripod and the camera on top of it the only thing you've changed is the body so I've got a 38 megapixel or 50 megapixel full frame camera here I'm gonna pop the lens on boom Exact same depth of field as if you pop a uh, DX crop sensor, 24 megapixel camera on there. It's the exact same. The only thing that's changed is the field of view. A crop is a crop, and a crop is only ever a crop, and a crop is first a crop, and then a crop is secondly a crop, and then when you take a lens, a full frame lens, and you stick it on a crop body, what happens is that the image is cropped. It's kind of like, what is a crop? It's like getting your hair cut. Meow. You know, give yourself a mohawk, or give me like me. I give me the the Captain Picard, the Captain Picard from Star Trek haircut, meaning bald. Okay, um, 
that's this was really important. Um, if you remember that, then everything that all these people keep spouting out to you will be perfectly transparent uh, for the BS and nonsense, unicorn farts, and leprechaun snot, and pixie dust that it is. Lenses don't work that way. They don't give a damn. They drop the same light, and they have no idea, nor do they care, nor are they told what is underneath it. A big ass 50, 50 megapixel sensor or a micro four thirds sensor or a DX crop sensor, it doesn't know, it doesn't care. All lenses work that way and all lenses have worked that way ever since the first lens came out. It's undeniable, it's irrefutable, you can't argue with it, you can't dispute it, you can't fight with me about it, you can't piss and moan about it, you can't complain about it because it's a fact. There's no wiggle room, that's the way it is. Bye.